there are a lot of recreational drugs out there these days. Some are legal, some are not, some are mild, some are dangerous, some are disastrous. But one you probably don't think of in those terms is sugar. And you might deny that it's a drug. But think about what happens when you take sugar away from people. When you deny children sweets, they cry and scream. Adults get upset. In fact, people actually protest when they even try to apply taxes to sugary drinks. Sugar is a recreational drug. We take sugar to change our state. People will have foods with sugar in to comfort them, or when they're bored, when they're angry, when they're upset, and it changes their state. It actually changes your chemistry, but it changes it for the worst. Because when you take that sugar in, it's just spiking your, your glucose and your insulin. It's making you fatter. It's causing inflammation. It's causing aging. It's a disastrous food. It's got no benefits whatsoever. It does make things taste good. But that's only because we're conditioned to that. The funny thing is when you take sugar out of the diet, after a while other foods, ordinary foods, start to taste a little bit sweeter. Because you start to naturally notice the natural sweetness in, in things like vegetables. And most people don't think of vegetables as sweet. But there's a little bit of sweetness in there because there's carbohydrate and that confers the sweetness. So if you want to lose weight, if you want to take control of those emotional states, you really need to get rid of sugar and everything that converts the glucose into the bloodstream. If you go to my website, roadmaptovibranthealth.com, you can get a free diet and you can get started with this. And if you want help, if you'd like help, I can help you with that. So I'm Ian Newton, and next time you're looking at that sugar and you're thinking that's not a recreational drug, just say to yourself, I'm not gonna have it, and notice how it feels.